as I analyze how the game is made and look deeper into this proverbial bed horse sausage and glue making factory, I do start to unravel some mysteries. Now, though the topic for today seems obvious, I'm not exactly sure how I didn't see this pile of maggot infested mule schlongs that are generously labeled as engineering for what it is. So let's start with the basics of how engineering is supposed to work. So you have upgrades that cost materials and data, and it also used to be commodities too. But Thank the orange Jesus with crucifix up its anus, that quickly got pulled out. Ah, uh, I mean, commodity, not the crucifix. So now it's only materials and date, and really, they're basically the same thing. What a lot of people seem to really not be able to understand is that materials and data are basically gameplay tokens and nothing more. To put it in a simple example, you perform a certain action or visit certain place, you get a monopoly cookie like a scout badge. So let's take iron for example. You can get it in two ways, by driving on the surface of a planet and prospecting that, or mining, while data mined wake exceptions are only acquired through high wake scans. Of course, these days it's a little bit different and I'll talk about that in just a bit. And this is why you will never be able to buy materials for credits. Okay? Get it? Good. Though that idea that gameplay tokens can't be bought is kicked in the head with a steel toe boot by material traders. Oh, and material amount limit is also put in place to limit players' ability to gather one of them, i.e. doing one gameplay type forever, so you would be forced to go and do other things to have varied gameplay. And this actually is a very good thing, though I still dislike the amount numbers. Still, now that we understand that these gameplay tokens represent different types of gameplay, in Elite, let's have good old fun and analyze some upgrades, shall we? I promise, this will be so stupid you'll need a brain transplant. Now then, let's take for example, hmm, something that everyone uses, the FSD range increased upgrade. Grade 1, get an atypical disruption wake echo. This is done through scanning wakes. Okay, that makes sense. Grade 2, previous thingy plus chemical processors taken from transport ship salvage, aka go kill some trader ships or lulzies gameplay token, or suck off RNGs in unidentified signal sources. Take your pick at this point. But how does this gameplay really associate itself with FSD increased jump range? I don't know. Grade 3. Chemical processors. I talked about that already. Then phosphorus that is gathered by mining or driving on planets with SRE. And strange wake solutions. Also high wake scanning gameplay token. For grade 4 you need manganese that is again mining or driving SRE. Chemical distillery. Some more transport ship killing tokens. Or unidentified signal sources in middle of super cruise. And eccentric hyperspace trajectories, some more high wake scanning. And finally grade 5, arsenic, which is once more SRV driving or mining, chemical manipulators, basically killing type 9s or surface points of interest, aka SRV driving, and data mined wake exceptions, more and more and more of high wake scanning only a lot more rare. So in summary, to get FSD upgrade, you have to at first scan some high wakes, as if anyone in clear mind would ever do that gameplay outside of engineering, so that useless gameplay gets an artificial lung, then you need to kill some transport ships, because that gameplay somehow ties into traveling from place to place? Yay, genius! After that, you do some mining or drive on the surface, and of course, scan some more high wakes. Then for grade 4, you drive on slightly different planets and shoot slightly different rocks, probably. And of course, kill some more trader ships, because that logic still makes sense. And on top of it, of course, you need to scan some more high wakes. And finally, for the last upgrade level, the best reward, do you have to do a challenging, traveling or exploration related task? Nope. You sit in a distribution center, kill cows like a psychopath with weird tendencies, drive on planet surfaces some more, and get on all fours in front of the pimpar and Jesus and beg for some more spanking till he coughs up some phlegm and spits at you. I.e. you sit in a place that a lot of ships jump out of and hope that the next scan will produce super inconsistent and rare data piece. This is what you need to do to get the highest level upgrade. Is there any kind of a challenge? Well, aside from knowing where to find those types nine cows and having patience. No, it's just literally hammering you in the head till you lose 
patience. Difference between levels of upgrades is not the difficulty of the gameplay that you need to do. It's just random chance decrease of getting something, i.e. artificially increasing time of doing the same gameplay in the same place, and highway scanning is a perfect example of this. You don't need to do anything differently, just do it for longer! Really? That's what you call not wasting my time or quality gameplay? Okay, well, let's take another example. This time from combat dedicated upgrades. I mean, come on, Yamix might have just picked some sort of outlier, right? Combat is all about difficulty and challenge, right? Um, well, let's take shield boosters and hull reinforcements, for example. On first levels, you're asked to do very simple stuff. Kill some easy ships and scan ships. The typical things that you do when performing combat gameplay anyways. Then, around grade 3, you're asked to do some mining or SRV driving. Because that makes sense for combat upgrade. Uh, but okay, let's say it's to change pace uh, and force player to try something new. That is actually a good thing in small doses. Then, can anyone in the audience here? Tell me, what in the Satan's infected hemorrhoids are you being asked to do for grade 5? The highest level upgrade. The best of the best. What, pray tell, difficult enemy are you asked to take down? Or what amazingly difficult task are you supposed to perform? Well, you're asked to go into Super Cruise, then hunt for high grade emissions. Um, those that don't know, that's an unidentified signal source. To give you some background, back in the day, these were supposed to be random encounters, spawned into Super Cruise to make it feel less empty. Random encounters, like in Skyrim when walking on the road, but instead of that being a happy coincidence or fun little event to spruce up your gameplay, this now has become the core gameplay if you want to get the best stuff. What? What kind of a glass fiber smegman fossilized dinosaur turd joint have designers smoked to think that this actually can work as any kind of core gameplay for any feature? What is wrong with you? These high grade emissions are highly randomized and barely predictable at all. Oh, and yeah, you can get away by giving RNGs as the wheel for the first few upgrades. But the higher you go, the more reliable and yet harder it should be to get these gameplay tokens. Not completely leaving up to chance. And the insult gets even greater when you realize that with the new engineering system, you're asked to do this high level gameplay more than ever before. Now, yes, there are materials for grade 5 upgrades like Core Dynamics Thingma Jigger that can be acquired by killing combat ships. Uh huh, but the chance to spawn, frankly, feels about the same. Yet, you put yourself in danger while doing it. But then there's the Lightweight and other upgrades that only are acquirable through these high grade emissions. Only through unidentified signal sources. <sighs> I mean, I knew material thing was ridiculous and seemingly crafted by a toddler with crayons soaked in slime. But when you actually examine what these gameplay tokens are and what upgrades ask for them, you can't but to stop and enjoy the impeding brain meltdown of this idiotic affair. How does killing transport ships relate to FSD jump range? How does sitting in super cruise for hours on hours relate to ship shielding and armor? And most of all, how does decreasing specific gameplay token drop chance for higher tier upgrade make for more interesting and involved gameplay? What kind of Neanderthalic mongoloid thinks that this is acceptable? Oh, and speaking of high level brain functions, I love how developers just lazily copy pasted multiple module upgrades. That's some well done and creative way of making people play different parts of your game. Mmm, I love it so much. Okay, I think my sarcasm is leaking out of my ears now, so to take a quick break. Yes, there are multiple ways of getting materials, but remember that most of the time it's just a normal intended way plus unidentified signal source, where you can find a specific gameplay token. And yes, places like Dove Soap offer a huge mix of materials just spawning in one place. But tell me, is this the gameplay that you want to do to upgrade your gear non-stop, or would you prefer something that is both challenging 
and rewarding, and perhaps something that you wouldn't have done normally. As for material mission rewards, remember, at the beginning it was not part of the game. Only later, after developers realized that players don't enjoy being asked to do over 9000 high vague scans for measly 10 data mine vague exceptions, they added material rewards for missions to alleviate the frustration, while at the same time diminishing the original intended gameplay's importance in the future. Good job! For me, the whole engineering system is just a bunch of WHY questions. And this is not even mentioning the upgrade balancing topic. In the end, engineering, especially some select upgrades, need blueprint redesign, and... Uh, you know what, at this point we are just better off burning the whole thing down and building back up from the scratch. Honestly, I think that that would be easier. Anyways, let's make it a fun ending. In the comments, post your favorite blueprints and what gameplay does it ask you to perform to get it. Um, probably the stupidest one will get the most likes, but well, we'll see. Still, if you found the video interesting, feel free to share it around. Dislike it if you think that Yamix no can good logic, or like it if I made some sense, and subscribe if you did. Now, I'll go lay down. I think both my brain and all my sarcasm had leaked out of my ears. I'll take time for it all to get back in. Then you need to kill some transport ships because that gameplay somehow ties into. Mao! <laughs> Mao! I'm recording for fuck's sakes! Mao! <laughs> fuck me! Oh god damn it!